Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Helios 500 and what's inside of it. First things first, let's talk about upgrade options. To get access to them, you need to undo two Phillips head screws. Then, pry the plastic door, and lift it away. Before we go any further we would advise removing the 74 watt hours battery pack. This is extremely easy, as you only need to undo the battery connector. Above it, you can see the two SODOM slots for memory expansion. To their right, you will find a cooling bracket for the SSDs. Once you remove it, you can see the two M.2 PCIe X4 slots. This is not all, though, as you get a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay, hidden beneath a plastic shroud. Remove the two Phillips head screws, and you will see the optional drive staring at you. To take it out, just unplug the connector from the motherboard, and lift it away. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. Now, if you want to see what's going on with the cooling, you need to remove the entire bottom panel. First, unplug all connectors that come from the bottom plate. Then, undo the screws holding it to the chassis. Nine of them are located in the middle, with six more sitting on the periphery of the bottom panel. After you remove them, pry the panel with a plastic tool and lift it away.
Here, we see a huge vapor chamber. It is attached to two heat sinks on the back. Additional three heat pipes help with the heat dissipation through two more heat sinks. It's worth noting that the fans here are absolutely huge. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.